23 things I learned in 2023. Number one, starting over does not equate to failure. It's never too late. Sometimes I just need a redirection and that's okay. Number two, believe it or not, no one in their 20s has it all figured out. We're all just pretending to have it all together, so focus on your own journey. Number three, people can only meet me as far as they've met themselves. A lot of times it's less painful to just choose to not take things personally. Hurt people hurt people. Number four, it took me a while to realize this, but the qualities that I admire in others are usually qualities that I see within myself. Number five, when somebody shows me who they are, I have no choice but to believe them. I've also learned that if I observe for long enough, people will tell on themselves. Number six, making the choice to walk away from something that feels good but isn't serving me anymore is one of the greatest acts of self-love. Number seven, majority of the time when people are lying to me, they're not lying to me, they're lying to themselves. Number eight, do the things that you hate like you love them. It's the only way to get better at it. Number nine, missing out on temporary fun to build permanent stability is not a loss. It's an investment. Number 10, the importance of always trusting my intuition and not letting anyone make me doubt it. Learning to trust myself. Number 11, understanding that people's behaviors have more to do with their own internal struggle than it will ever have to do with me. Number 12, it's not overthinking when I've seen it many times before know how it ends and I'm right about it. Learning to trust my experience and the patterns that I see and adjusting accordingly. Patterns don't lie, people do. Number 13, I can't expect others to believe in me when I don't even believe in myself. Number 14, realizing that a lot of my past relationships have been reliant on my convenience to them and on my lack of boundaries. It's been a very humbling lesson. Number 15. I'm not as healed as I thought I was. I just haven't had anyone around to trigger me. Number 16. Stop telling people my business. It's okay to keep things to myself sometimes. Number 17. Finding community doesn't have to be hard. Most people want connection. I just have to put myself in those spaces. Number 18. I don't really know what I'm doing and that's okay. Number 19. Stop making assumptions and stop thinking through other people. Nothing good has ever come out of this. Number 20. The only reward for hard work is more work. Number 21. My therapist isn't always right, and that's okay. Number 22. My basic needs will always be too much for an emotionally unavailable person. And finally, number 23. The importance of finding three valuable hobbies. One that makes me smart, one that makes me wealthy, and one that makes me fit. Although 2023 was one of the most challenging years I've had in a while, I'd like to think that a lot of my growth and evolution came from this year, and I'm grateful for all of the new connections, opportunities, and experiences that I got to live through this year. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed my 23 lessons that I took from this year, and I'm wishing everyone the best 2024. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.